Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today for a reading. Today we're going to tap on, uh, tap into the overall energy of what message you need to hear today. This is going to be a collective reading, guys, so it may or may not resonate with all of you guys, but please take what does and leave the rest behind, okay? Guys, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, click on that notification bell so you get notified when I post new readings. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. These readings are meant to be timeless, so they can do it. They can have to do with love, money, finances, career, whatever, whatever the universe wants me to to tell you guys. Okay. All right, as you all know, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. Like I mentioned previously, this reading may or may not resonate with all of you guys, but please take what does, leave the rest behind. And there is no gender in tarot, guys, so please reverse the roles as need be. So let's get started here. If you would like to book a personal reading, guys, the information is in the description box below. Now let's get started. I went ahead and I pulled an oracle card from my collective, and this is what I got, baggage. Not letting go, hanging on to the past, hurts, issues, identify, heal patterns that impact relationships. Ah, oh, the universe is telling you to release. Release what no longer serves you. Release the people, places, and things that no longer serve you anymore. I feel that a lot of us, including myself, we tend to take a lot of past situations, a lot of past hurts, and bring them forward with us into, few, into new relationships. That's what ends up messing up those relationships. So you're being asked. To release all that no longer serves you so you can move on to bigger and better places okay wow guys look at the six of cups definitely they're asking you to release the past this might have to do with a soulmate someone that you thought that was a soulmate but this person definitely wasn't a soulmate it was a karma partner you were just meant to learn lessons from this person and now it's time for you to release with the judgment call most definitely you need to make that you need to make that judgment call already be clear on what and what you want don't don't trick yourself to believing that oh no because he loves me oh because he's my soulmate oh because we we get along this when we do it's meant to be no that's not the case for everybody guys so you must be careful with who or what you want to deal with moving forward let's see what else we have here i got the king of wands okay definitely this person could have been a a bully maybe um this person just like to for, first of all, this person was a very charismatic, very good-looking person. Everybody wanted to be around them. On top of it, this person no experience, had a lot of experiences in life with different types of partners, different you know, in different scenarios. So this person is very well experienced in that sense. And I feel with this King of Wands in the reverse, this person is not a committal person. This person is only out for themselves. They're only looking out for themselves and what they can get from every situation that they are in. What else in the reverse? Two of Swords. There's a decision that needs to be made here, and I feel this is going to be your decision with the Two of Swords, okay? You're currently guarded because you're not sure what you want to do, but you know because you're you're, you're tricking yourself. You're, you're confusing yourself with denial, trying to say, no, this person's good. You're trying to see the good versus the bad. You're not trying to see the pros and the cons, if you, if you, if you know what I mean, okay? You're trying to see all the good in this person. But you're not looking at all the bad stuff that this person has done as well. With the Prince of Cups here, which is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This person is a moody person. This person plays a lot with your emotions. This person says he loves you or she loves you one minute. And the next minute they act like they don't even know you. That's the type of person that you're dealing with. So you're being asked. You're, you're, you're in need of making, making this decision because you have to release this baggage. How do you plan to move forward? And have the type of uh, future you want when you're constantly dealing with this person or people like that. What else do you use? The tower moment. You're the one that's, that's causing yourself not to move forward, okay? You're the one that's causing yourself not to see what, um, not to see the truth of the matter is what I'm trying to say, okay? You're the one that's stopping this tower from falling, okay? You got to open up your eyes. You got to release that blindfold that she has here. And, and you have to... Look at the truth of the matter. Understand that this person is not good for you. This person, all he or she does is drag you down. All they're worried about is themselves. What else? Is this? The Princess of Wands. That's the Knight of Wands. I feel that this person that you're dealing with, yes, is a very he or she is a very sexy person, very good looking. 
but they have a very in and out energy. They only come when it's their convenience. They only call you when it's to their convenience when they need something. With the Ace of Cups here, this person offers you love with all these false promises, I believe. Okay? This person offers you love with all these false promises and never follows through. Look at with the Three of Cups in the reverse. This person has you in three, three party situations left and right. And you know this, but you're not trying to see this. Look at with the Queen of Cups. This person is nothing but an emotional lunatic. This person plays with your emotions like no one else's business. Your emotion and everybody else's emotion. This person is only out for their interest or for what they want here. So, as you can tell, you have a lot of cups here. Okay, you got the Six of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups, the Princess of Cups, the Three of Cups. You got all these cups because why this person is constantly forever knows how to play these mind games with you and plays with your emotions, plays with your heart. What else, universe? What else does not connect with me to them? The Hermit. You're being asked to pull away from this connection. Right now, you need to isolate yourself. You really need to sit down and think and make these, these rational decisions with this Two of Swords. If this is what you truly want. If you're going to constantly accept that, that empty cup that this person is giving you all the time with false promises, is that what you want? Or do you want the real ace of cups where somebody can come in and give you that cup full of water? Which one is it that you want, collective? There's a decision that needs to be made. And they're not asking you to be make this decision now. They're asking you to take your time but really think about it. Weigh out your pros and cons. This person isn't good for you. This person is a baggage. This person is a burden for you. With the moon... With the moon, there's things that still need to be told to you. There's things that are still being hidden from you, okay? With the six of wands and the chariot, this person is not trying to move forward to um, a victorious outcome with you, okay? This person is not trying to have that happy house, happy wife type of thing. Or happy life, happy wife type of thing. They're not trying to do that, okay? Or what is it, happy spouse, happy house? That, okay? Man or woman, don't matter. This person is not trying to turn that chariot on to come towards you. They don't want victory with you. They're just here for what they can get in the moment, okay? They're not looking at the future like you're sitting here and you're wedding planning and, and you're, you're trying to plan how the, the, um, the engagement is going to be, how the wedding is going to be, how our kids are going to look, what the kids' names are, cat, dog, whatever. You're planning all of this and they're planning something else. They're planning what the hell, they, who they're going to bang this upcoming weekend. This is a very, very imbalanced connection with the temperance in the reverse. There is no balance. There is no stay, set footing here for you and this person. Everything that comes out of this person's mouth, guys, is a lie. Okay? Is chaos. This person promises you the moon and the stars and gives you nothing. Because it's all false hope. It's all false new beginnings from this person. What else, universe? This person is toxic. Look the devil in the reverse. The devil in the reverse. This is a very toxic person you are dealing with, collective. This message is not to put you down and is not to make you feel bad. It's just to help you open up your eyes and understand that the person that you're currently dealing with is a very toxic person. Okay, you have to release this past person because the life that you are hoping and praying for can be yours. You can have it, but when you have this type of toxicity around you, they're, you're not going to get it because this person is blocking you with the chariot in the reverse. Is blocking you with the six of wands in the reverse. This toxic person is blocking forward movement. Is blocking victory. Is blocking blessings. It's, it's blocking everything you've ever wanted. Why? Because this toxic person, if he or she can't get up there, you can't get up there. They're going to drag you right along with them. Okay? So you must learn these lessons. Learn these lessons in this connection. Unfortunately, we're not always meant to be with who we want to be with. Why? Because this is the law of the, of the universe. This is the way it's, it, it's written, okay? We must learn lessons from certain people to be able to move on to bigger and better things. And with that said, you're going to learn your lesson and here you go. Once you realize that this toxic person should not be part of your future once you realize and understood the lessons you had to get in this connection you're going to get nothing but happiness here guys there's all this beautiful happiness coming towards you there's going to be an emperor or an empress coming into your life this person's going to give you so much stability so much happiness 
with the four of swords as you have come into realization as you pulled yourself away from this energy as you're coming out of this four of swords energy here comes this emperor he or she is going to make you totally happy because you it's been a time now that you've been on your own resting and rejuvenating and now here comes the happiness for you what else you notice? the queen of coins this person is going to come in with offering you stability male or female doesn't matter this person is going to be a very stable person in your life what else? knight of coins in the reverse this was slow moving this energy of that what's coming towards you is a slow moving reason being because for some of you guys you're not out of this yet okay you haven't come to realization that the current person you're dealing with is a toxic person. Once you realize this, once you pull yourself away from that, this knight of this knight of coins, which is the knight of pentacles, is going to go on the upright and he's going to start his forward movement towards you as you're resting, rejuvenating, recuperating, and understanding and getting clarity of the lessons you learn and what you want moving forward. The eight of coins here. Somebody's going to come in here and they're going to want to put the work in with you. They're going to want to work with you, why? Right? Because they're going to be very clear as to what they want, what their motives are with you. This person is not going to beat around the bush like this person. This person is going to be very clear, straightforward and tell you, I want victory. I want success. I want happiness. I want a happy home. I want a happy life. I want a happy wife. I want a happy husband. I don't care. This is what this person wants, and this is what this person's gonna get. Let's see here with the three of coins. Yup, there's going to be a lot of work being put into this connection. With the eight of coins and the three of coins, this person's gonna come in ready for it. They're gonna come in ready to work with you and ready to work on your guys' empire together. This person that's going to be coming in here is your soulmate this is your soulmate this person right here the second person we're talking about is your soulmate and this person's going to want to put an equal give and take in this connection with you they're going to want to work with you so you both can build this empire that you both are wanting to build with the five of wands and the nine of cups this person's going to fight with you but not against you they're going to fight with you to achieve all the wishes that you've always wanted with the Nine of Cups. This person is going to put the fight in with you. They're going to fight to the end so both of you guys get the wishes that you guys have always wanted. The Three of Swords in the reverse. This person is not coming in here to cause you any heartache. This person, on the contrary, wants this four of wands energy with you. Like I said, a happy home, a happy life, a happy wife. You will never have to worry about this person being deceptive, cheating, causing you anxiety, causing you sadness, causing you a whole shitload of depression. This is not this person's mission. This person's mission is to come and work with you, with the two of pentacles, to, make, to balance this situation out with you so you guys can both work together moving forward. What else in the words? with the four of coins this person is going to hold on to you with dear life why because this person sees you as their empress sees you as their ten of cups their total happiness this person is going to come in here and bring you justice this person is going to show you with the seven of wands in the in the reverse that there is an opportunity to be happy you can take the opportunities to be happy you deserve the opportunities to be happy the person that is preparing to come towards you right now is planning and planning their way towards you, okay? Because they see you as this beautiful queen of wands energy, sexy, vibrant, charismatic. Everybody wants to be around you. This person is going to come in here with this ace of coins and they're going to offer you stability. They're going to offer you stability and happiness. And they're going to be very clear as to what they want and you're going to be very clear as to what you want. And this is the, the king of swords is here and so is the queen so this is a soulmate energy okay all right guys that's all i have for the tarot here let's get you some advice with the romance angel so we can go ahead and close out this reading universe archangel spirit angel guys and guardians what do we have here for my collective 
worth waiting for. Divine time timing is at work in your love life, guys. This relationship that is coming towards you is worth waiting for. What else do we have here, universe? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual the usual type and expectations. Yes, because you're so used to dealing with this crappy ass energy that when this person comes in, you're gonna be like, What the hell? I've never I've never would have thought I would have fallen to somebody like this. And you're being told by the universe you deserve love. You are lovable. They're sending you somebody that's going to love you the right way. And this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So the person that you're currently either possibly dealing with already in the friendship level or the person that is coming towards you can be the one. But this person will not come into your life until you realize and understand that this past person is nothing but a toxic person. A person that is only living off you, only trying to take and steal your energy, only to try to come up with your energy, okay? You must understand and release to allow this beautiful new relationship to come through. All right, guys, I hope this resonates for all you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal reading, guys, the information is in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.